Yes. Yeah? Perfect, good. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Let's get started. So basically, what we've started the previous class was the introduction or the, the, the base of the class. We are going to make some questions as we did previously because I want to encourage you to ask questions, okay? So, uh, I'm just changing my page, sorry. So today, what are we gonna do today? First part, we're going to ask questions. So again, I will give you like a two minutes, three minutes, maybe five minutes stop for you to ask any kind of questions, but we're gonna choose the topic, okay? So it's not gonna be, what did you eat today? We're not, gonna, we're not gonna ask questions like that, okay? We're gonna make it a bit more harder. That will be the first part. The second part, we're gonna talk about astrology and predictions about the future. And then at the end, we're gonna play some role play. Obviously, you're gonna have two short breaks, so I will give you that as well. But before, let me just quickly go back to the previous ones that we asked. So these questions would not be allowed to ask. I'm going to copy them here. So I will give you two, three minutes to think about two questions that you're going to ask. The topics that you can choose would be, uh, let's put a little box over here. You can ask something about education or maybe like, school, subject, teachers, something like that. Okay, that will be topic one. Education, okay, I misspelled the letter, but that's fine, it's over here. Okay, so you can ask about education, you can ask about future plans, like, in five years, no, let's say in 10 years from now. What else should we choose? Let's choose something like famous people. So these are the topics that you need to kind of focus and try to create questions. I will give you the first example. Again, these questions that you had previously, are no good. We're not gonna ask the same questions, right? So I'm just gonna clean this up and I will start with the first question. The first question will be for Bernice. Bernice, what would you like, what would you like to be when you grow up? What would you like to be when you grow up? So I'm a teacher, but let me tell you a little story. I never, ever in my life wanted to be a teacher. I just didn't like it. Look at me, I've been teaching for 15 years. So sometimes you plan one thing, but it just happens. I, like I wanted to be uh, a detective. I wanted to be a psychologist. I wanted to be a criminal psychologist, basically. Um, what else did I want it to be? I think that's pretty much it. Those are my wishes, but I just became a teacher and a translator. So it's a good job, it's not bad. <laughs> but how about you, Bernice? What would you like to be when you grow up, like when you finish school? Mm, dentist. A dentist, all right. Why? Um, because... I hope I have a uh, healthy teeth. Wow. Hold on. You want to be a dentist, so you're going to have healthy teeth? Yes. Okay. But you can just go to the dentist and they will check the teeth for you. So you don't have to be a dentist. Um, help others to having a healthy teeth. Uh -huh, to help others to keep their gums. Gums, do you know what are gums? Gums, let's write it down. 
So a dentist, that's perfect. So now we're going to elaborate the answer. I would like to help. How do we call the people that go to, to the office of the dentist? Do we call them just people, boys, girls? If I go to the doctor, what am I? Am I just Natasha or am I something else to the doctor? Patient. Patient, perfect. How do we, uh, how do we spell patient? P-A-T-I-N-T-I-E-N-T. Mm -hmm. So I would like to help the patient to have healthy teeth and gums. Now, what are gums? Do you know what are gums? The inside. Okay, so we can see just the teeth, right? So we just see the teeth. Uh, how do they stay in our mouth? What actually Hold, uh, holds them. Sorry, sweetie, I wrote over here teats. It's not teats because it's one tooth, more teeth. So these thing like the, uh, I'm sorry about the picture, but I just want you to remember this. So where our teeth are hold in our mouth are called gums. Sometimes we get like, if we eat an apple and we didn't wash the apple, we're going to feel like a bit swollen from the inside. So it's actually the gums because the gums keep all the teeth together and healthy. Okay, healthy teeth and gums. Perfect. All right. Now, Bernice, can you make a question for Esther? You can ask again, education, future plans, or famous people. Whatever you want to, but those three topics are free for you to ask any questions as you want. Where is your school? Where is your school? Okay. Sir, where is your school? My school is at Lahatato. Okay, good. And how do you go to school? I go to school by car. By car? Yes. Yeah? Who drives the car? My mother. Your mother. Good. Perfect. Very well, Esther. Esther, can you make a question for Ketu, please? Where do you want to go to study when you grow up? Perfect. Where do you want to go and study when you grow up? I will, I will go to Kotaki Napalo to study university. Okay, and what kind of university is there? What would you be studying there? It's University of Malaysia, Sabah. Yes, but what would you study there? Would you study science or medicine? What would you study? I would like to study mathematics. Mathematics. Okay, good. All right. Ketu, can you make a question for T. Roy, please? Uh, what subject do you like the most? What subject do you like the most? Mm -hmm. What 
subject T Roy do you like the most? I like Chinese. Okay, why do you like Chinese the most? Because easy. Because it's easy. All right, good. Okay, perfect guys, very well. Okay, let's share a link with you. We're gonna have some speaking, uh, but before that, let me share it with you. It's an interesting one. But first, I must ask you, do you believe in the future? Do you believe that everyone has a future that they need to experience? So, for example, some people believe that um, if you go to an astrologer and they will tell you what will potentially happen for you in the future. Do you believe that that's true? Katu, what do you think? I don't know. I didn't have it. Okay. Okay. Bernice, what do you think? Do you think that somebody can predict your future? What might happen in the future? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think yes? Um, because have some example. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean example? Uh, some people can uh, know the, the future of the world. Uh -huh, okay. All right, that's interesting. In that case, let's write some questions over here. Good. Okay. Oh, all right, that's fine. Would you like... I didn't put you, right? <laughs> Would you like to know your future? Okay. Would you like to know your future, like what is going to happen in five years or, or the next day? Would you like to know the future? Yes. Yes? Why, sweetie? Why would you like to know the future? Why would you like to know the future? I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. T. Roy, how about you? Would you like to know the future? Yes. Yeah, okay. Why? Do you think it's more fun? Okay, let's give some guidelines here. Is it fun to know the future in advance? In advance means before. Is it fun to know the future in advance? Katu, what do you think? Get you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good. Do you think it's fun to know the future in advance? A uh, little bit fun. Uh. Okay, why? Because my future is want to be a chess grandmaster, but, but there are many difficulties. Okay. Okay, but not necessarily if it's a future, could be good, but could be bad as well. So would you like to know the bad things that could happen in the future? Uh, no. No, just the good things. Mm, but but a little, well, I don't know my future have bad or good. 
Question. Nobody knows, sweetie. Nobody knows if we have good things or bad things coming. Nobody knows. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, cool. That's good. Now, let me ask you this question. All right, let's start with astrology. What is astrology? Do you know what is astrology? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Does anyone know what is astrology? No? Okay. So I just want to share something with you. When we have words that we don't really know what they mean or stuff like that, we're going to use the Cambridge Dictionary. I will share it with you right now just to give you an example. Um, Okay, so here is the Cambridge Dictionary. This is the official link. I will send it to you in the chat box. We will use it quite often during the, the course. I would like you to kind of bookmark it like I have it. You see, I have it over here in use, like Cambridge Dictionary. So I use it there. I keep it all the time. Now, what's the catch with this? So obviously, Using a dictionary is very important for everyone who is learning a new language. So what we're going to do now is try to find the meaning of the word. So the first word we have is astrology, right? So we're just going to put here astrology. And look at this. It gives us uh, two pronunciations about this word. I will put on the sound so you will hear it. Hold on. All right, so listen to the UK pronunciation. Astrology. Astrology. Okay, that's the UK. Astrology. Astrology. You can see, you can hear they're slightly different, right? Whichever is more comfortable for you, feel free to use that one, okay? If you don't feel comfortable with the UK pronunciation, go for American or the other way around. It's up to you, okay? There's no wrong or right. You just need to feel comfortable when you speak. And let's see what is the meaning. The study of the movement and position of the sun, moon, planets, and stars in the belief that they affect the character and lives of people. So I'm just going to copy this meaning, okay? And I'm going to put it over here to astrology. Uh, that's a bit too big going to make it more nicer. Okay, so, ooh, that actually went over size. All right, cool. So we have the study of the movement and position of the sun, moon, planets, and stars in the belief that they affect the character and lives of uh, people. That is astrology. Cool. Okay. Now let's look at the astrologer. So what could be astrologer? What do you think? So astrology is not a science, okay? But a person who is learning these things and they want to know more and they're, it's like astrology is their work. They're basically called astrologer. Like I'm a teacher. They're an astrologer. It's kind of a profession. So let's see. Astrologer. Astrologer. Again, either way are correct. You get to choose which pronunciation you prefer more. Okay. But let's see the meaning. Someone who studies astrology and uses it to tell people how they believe it will affect their life. Okay. It's going to copy the meaning and we're going to put it next to astrologer. But on the top of that, we have something similar, which is called astronomy. Now, what is an astronomy? Who knows? Astronomy. Okay, let's see. Let's see the pronunciation. Astronomy. 
astronomy. Again, both are correct. But this is the scientific study of the universe and the object that exists naturally in the space, such as the moon, the sun, planets, and stars. Okay. Now, this is the meaning of astronomy. We're just going to put it over here. Now, I want you to look at this one that it says C2. Okay. So, this actually means what level in English you should have to learn these words. So, because now you are at A1, A1 and A2 in between. So this word is actually very high, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't learn the word, okay? I think it's easy just to mention, that's completely fine. But this sometimes could be A1, sometimes could be A2. For example, let me show you more simple words. Let's say school, let's see about school. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a commercial. Look at the level, A1, because at A1, you need to understand the word school. So this is the meaning of those letters, A1, A2, B1, B2, and so on. So now let's go back to astronomy. Astronomy is the science about the stars and the universe and all of it. It's just the science, like when the moon shows on or when the sun comes up, just general information, that's called astronomy. Astrology, on the other hand, is when people believe it's like a study, it's not a science, nobody actually said, well, this is a fact. No, it's not. So astrology is actually when you think that, you know, the stars can tell you the future. Okay. Now, how about prediction then? What is a prediction? Prediction, to predict something. What is a prediction? Bernice, what do you think? A prediction. What is a prediction? Mm, I don't know. Okay, Katya, do you know what is a prediction? Let's look at this one. Statement yeah. about what you think. A statement about what you think will happen in the future. Perfect. So when you think about something that is going to happen in the future, we say it's a prediction. Because you don't know if that is actually going to happen. It's not a fact, right? It's just your opinion. Like when you go and play the lottery, right? You got the tickets, you got all the numbers because you believe that those numbers will be drawn and you're going to win the lottery. So it's called a prediction. <laughs> okay, cool. Now let's go to the fun part. So I know in the Chinese culture, you have different kind of zodiacs, right? But the Western world or the rest of the world they actually have different zodiac signs. So first I want to ask you, do you know your Chinese zodiac? Katya, do you know what's your zodiac? Zodiac. Yeah, a zodiac. Do you know what is a zodiac? Like a horoscope, zodiac. No? Okay. Bernice, do you know what's your zodiac? Um, sorry, what is zodiac? Ah, okay. All right, that's fine. Let's get practice then. I'm just going to make this here. I'm going to show you now a little video. Okay, I'm just going to copy the link. You know this, 
okay? You, you do know this, just gonna put it over here. We're gonna watch it together. Okay. So within the Chinese culture, uh, people believe in different kinds of zodiacs, like you have a rat, uh, an ox, a dragon. What else was it? I forgot them, can think of now. So those ones are the Chinese zodiac signs. But in the other uh, culture, like in the Western culture, you have different signs. So one are based by the time when you were born. The other one are actually based on the year you were born. Okay? So people have different opinions. Some people believe in it. Some people don't believe in it. But we're going to watch now a little video. It's going to be much, much clearer for you. And well, let's see. All right, get ready. What's your sign? In Western Australia. Mm -hmm. All right, let's answer the first question. What was the question? What did the person ask? What's your sign? Thank you, Ketu. What's your sign? So when somebody asks you, what's your sign? These are the answers potentially you can get. Thank you for the answer, that was good. In Western astrology, it's a constellation determined by when your birthday falls in the calendar. But according to the Chinese zodiac... Aha! Uh -huh. Where does the zodiac come from? Peruvian, Chinese, the United Kingdom, or Japanese? Chinese, because the backlog habit. Okay, well done, Katyu. Good job. Zodiac, or Sheng Xiao. It's your Shu Xiang, meaning the animal assigned to your birth year. And of the many myths explaining these animal signs and their arrangement, the most enduring one is that of the Great Race. As the story goes, Yu Di, or Jade Emperor, ruler of the heavens, wanted to devise a way to measure. Okay, who wants to divide the zodiac? The zodiacal sign. Oh, that's going to be hard for me to read it. Sheng Jing, the emperor. Han Yu Pinyun, the emperor. Jade emperor or Hokkien POJ emperor. Who wants to divide the zodiacal signs? Jade emperor. Jade emperor, okay. Perfect, thank you devise a way to measure time. So he organized a race. The first 12 animals to make it across the river would earn a spot on the zodiac calendar in the order they arrived. The rat rose with the sun to get an early start, but on the way into the river, he met the horse, the tiger, and the ox. Okay, on the way to the river, the rat meets with the ox, the ox and the horse, the ox, the horse, and the tiger, or animals family. The ox, the horse, and the tiger. Uh, I don't think. I don't know. Okay, should we go for this one? Uh, what do you think? Is it this one, or should we choose another answer? Come on, guys, tell me your opinion. The ox. The ox, just the ox, okay. Oh, Katie was right. The ox, the horse, and the tiger. Okay. Tiger and the ox. Because the rat was small and couldn't swim very well, he asked the bigger animals for help. While the tiger and horse refused, the kind-hearted ox. 
because the rat is small, he asks the biggest animals for help. Is this yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Why did he ask for help? Because he can't swim. Exactly. He can't swim, so he needed some help. Cool. Kind-hearted ox agreed to carry the rat across. Yet, just as they were about to reach the other side, the rat jumped off the ox's head and secured first place. The ox came in second. Mm -hmm. Who secured the, his life first? Rat. The rat. So the hey, rat is... is first place? Sorry, sweetie, what did you say? Secure his first place. What? So the rat secured his first place in the Chinese zodiac. So the first this Chinese zodiac is the rat. Do you know what's the second one? Ox. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. Ox came in second with a powerful tiger right behind him. The rat. Okay. So who came the second and who was the third one? Ox and tiger. Ox and tiger. Perfect. Good. So by now, do you know what is your Chinese zodiac? Um. Me, 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 mine will be ship. Okay, good. Mine is ox, actually. I am an ox. Bernice, what's yours? Um, I'm pig. Good, okay. T. Roy, how about you? Dog. Dog, okay. Esther? Dog. Dog as well. Oh, cool. So you were born in the same year. Good. The rabbit, too small to battle the current, nimbly hopped across stones and logs to come in fourth. Next came the dragon, who could have flown directly across. Oh, who comes forward then? Rabbit. Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, uh, the why one... the others didn't answer? You want me to answer only? Oh, sweetie, I just ask whoever wants to answer the question. Uh, ask me only, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no. But stopped to help some creatures she had encountered on the way. After her came the horse, galloping across. Okay, see, Roy, how about this question? So, Cat, you won't feel that he's the only one in the class? Teacher, can I go to the toilet? Yes, go ahead. See, Roy? Dragon. Dragon. Who comes after the rabbit? You say dragon. Let's check it out. Yay, cool. Galloping across the river. But just as she got across, this. Okay, Esther, how about the next question? After comes the what? The dragon, horse, or the rabbit galloping across the river. Dragon. Dragon? All right, let's see. It's a horse. Oh, okay. Got across, the snake slithered by. The startled horse reared back, letting the snake sneak into sixth place. The Jade Emperor looked out at the river and spotted the sheep, the monkey, and the rooster, all atop a raft. Okay. Uh, T. Roy, what animals can you see? Sheep, monkey, dragon, monkey, sheep, chicken, sheep, monkey, rooster. Sheep, monkey, rooster. Sheep, monkey, rooster. Oh, sheep, monkey, dragon. Oh, shoot. Atop a raft, working together to push it through the weeds. When they made it across, the trio agreed to give eighth place to the sheep, who had been the most comforting and harmonious of them, followed by the monkey and the rooster. Next came the dog, scrambling onto the shore. Okay, next came the Bernice, rat, rooster, chicken, dog. Oh. Dog. Well done, thank you. To the shore. He was a great swimmer, but frolicked in the water for so long that he only managed to come in 11th. The final spot was claimed by the pig, who had gotten hungry and stopped to eat and nap. 
before finally waddling across the finish line. And so, each year is associated with one of the animals in this order, with the cycle starting. Okay, so each day, month, year, or hour, get you. Each year. Each year, all right. So with the Chinese zodiac, you actually get the sign by the year you were born. But in the Western astrology, which we will show later, your birthday, actually, the date of the birth and the month of the birth gives you a different kind of sign. Let's see. With the cycle starting over every 60 years, why 60 and not 12? Well, the traditional Chinese calendar is made up of two overlapping systems. The animals of the zodiac are associated with what's called the 12 earthly branches, or Shar Di Zhi. Another system, the 10 heavenly stems, or Shi Tian Gan, is linked with the. Mm -hmm. Now let's see this answer, D Roy. D, five heavenly stems, the 100, the 20, or the 10. 10. The 10. Okay. Is linked with the five classical elements of metal. Okay, what did you hear? Did she say metal, wood, earth, metal. or water? Metal, okay. Elements of metal, jin, wood, uh huh. What was the second one? Wood. It's wood. Wood, mu, water, shui, fire. Okay, which one is the fourth one? Fire. Fire. Okay, good. Fire. And what comes as a third one? Water. Water. Okay, cool. Fire, hu, and earth. And the last one? Earth. Earth. And earth, tu. Each element is assigned yin or yang, creating a 10 year cycle. When the 12 animals of the earthly branches are. The five elements are what? Yin Yang or Yang Ying? Yin Yang. <laughs> All right. Branches are matched with the five elements plus the Yin or the Yang of the heavenly stems. It creates 60 years of different combinations, known as a sexagenary cycle or Gan Zhi. So someone born in 1980 would have the sign of Yang Metal Monkey, while someone born in 2007 would be Yin Fire Pig. In fact, you can also have an inner animal based on your birth month, a true animal based on your birth date, and a secret animal based on your birth hour. It was the great race that supposedly determined which animals were enshrined in the Chinese zodiac. But as the system spread through Asia, other cultures made changes to reflect their communities. So if you consult the Vietnamese zodiac, you may discover that you're a cat, not a rabbit. And if you're in Thailand, a mythical snake called a naga. Mm -hmm. In Vietnamese zodiac, you may discover that you are a what? Cat, not an ox. Cat, not a horse. Dog, not a rabbit. Cat. Which one? Cat, not a rabbit. Cat, not a rabbit. Oh, perfect. A snake called a naga replaces the dragon. So whether or not you play stock in what the Zodiac says about you as an individual, it certainly reveals much about the culture it comes from. Oh, perfect, good. So as you can see, it's different. So you have this Chinese Zodiac from on one side, you have your signs, which are based on your um, year of birth. But within the Western astrology, which we're going to do about now, you are going to see that we have different kind of uh, zodiacs. So when somebody asks, what's your zodiac? 
the answer should be obviously uh, what you prefer to use. Which astrology do you prefer? If you prefer Chinese astrology, obviously that's your region over there. You can tell that one. But today you're also going to learn the Western astrology. Before that, uh, would you like to have a break for five minutes? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Switch off your cameras, go get some water or something. I got my morning coffee here and I still haven't finished it. <laughs> so I am entertained. You go get your drinks, whatever you want to go to the toilet and be back in five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Okay. I'm back. If everyone is here. Okay, cool. Good. So let me share a link with you. Um, one second. So we're going to do this first. Okay. Um, want to do worksheet. Sorry, Katie, what did you say? want us to do the do a worksheet first i will give you now in a second so you can see your your signs i will share it with you this is the link um okay that is the link but also i'm going to share it on the screen over here so we got the star signs. So when we talk about the other astrology, the Western astrology, we have star signs. So if you say, what is your star sign? People would normally say, oh, I'm a Cancer. I am a um, uh, Pisces or Aries or something like that. Now, first, let's explain. Let me explain you. What does this mean? If you were born, from the 20th of March until the 20th of April, you are an Aries, okay? So you will be an Aries. If you are born from the 20th of March till the 20th of April. If you are born from 21st of April till 21st of May, you are the second star sign or Taurus. The next one is Gemini. If you were born from the 22nd of May until the 21st of, six, uh, of uh, June, sorry, you're a Gemini. If you are born from the 22nd of June until the 23rd of July, you are a Cancer. And that's me. I am a Cancer. I, uh, I was born on the 20th of July. I just had a birthday last week. The next one, after cancer, comes Leo. So if you were born from the 24th of July till the 23rd of August, you are a Leo. The next sign, or the sixth sign, is a Virgo. If you were born on the 24th of August up till the 23rd of September, you are a Virgo. The next is Libra. If you were born from the 24th of September until the 23rd of October, you got Libra. After Libra comes Scorpio. From the 24th of, Scorp of <laughs> October, Till the 23rd of uh, November. Then comes Sagittarius. If you were born on the, tw on the 23rd of November until the 21st of December. If you were born from the 22nd of December until the 20th of January, you're a Capricorn. If you were born from 21st of January till the 19th of February, you're an Aquarius. And the last sign is Pisces. 
if you were born from the 20th of February till the 20th of March. And then we go back from the 20th, but this should be the 21st of March. So I already said my birthday is in July, so I'm a Cancer. Bernice, when is your birthday? What's your star sign? Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, cool. All right, good. When is your birthday? Um, December 9th. December 9th, perfect. You are Sagittarius. Good. Ketu, what is your star sign? Teacher, I don't know these words. Okay, tell me when is your birthday. I'll help you. Uh, 10, 10 of April. 10th of April. Okay, so you are Aries, the first one. I am. I am born in 2008. Sorry, sweetie, I didn't get that. When is your birthday? I'm born. My birth is 10th of April 2008. Okay, so you were in Aries. If it's in April, 10th of April, you were in Aries. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Um, Esther, how about you? Aquarius. Aquarius, okay, so you should be uh, end of January or beginning of February. Okay, good. T. Roy, how about you? When, when is your birthday? Twelfth of May. Twelfth of May, you should be Taurus. Perfect. So now we know the star signs. That's cool. Now, this is going to be your task now. So let's look at, for example, nobody's cancer. So I will say about cancer. Look at the words over here. Not be, make, feel. Those are the words that I need to include to this empty uh, blanks. So for example, health. Eating too many sweets, da 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 da, you will. You feel unwell. Watch your diet. Okay. So which word should I put over here? Just put, just put this word which is in the bracket. Yes, but you need to change the form. You not just copy the word. So you need to find the suitable oh. form. Yeah. I don't know yeah. eating too many sweets. It, this word is the singular or uh, plural. The plural, there's no need to, there's no need to add yes or yes. But if it's singular, you want to, you want to. Okay, I'll help you here. Make you feel unwell. Eating too many sweets make you feel unwell. What's your diet? Work. One of your teachers, da 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 da, happy with your progress. Now we're gonna use not be, but we're gonna, not gonna say teacher not be. One of your teachers, we're gonna say, will not be happy with your progress. And love, you, now we got feel, we're gonna put will, because this is basically about future. So you will feel, Lucky this week. Okay, so what I want you to do now is do the rest of the words, the rest of the signs. Each sign has all the words you need to do. You just need to put them in the correct form. Okay. So you have the words, be careful with them, and let's see what you're going to do. At the bottom, you have four questions. What's the sign of those who were born on the 31st of March? So you're going to search 31st of March. Okay, that's Aries. Good. So you're going to put here Aries and so on. 
Okay, try and see, let's see how many points you're gonna get. I will give you like five minutes to do this. Teacher, what is meaning the best star sign? The best one? Who is the best one? Because everyone believes that their sign is the best one. I'm a Cancer, so I think that Cancers are the best. But you're an Aries, so you think that your sign is the best. My sign is the best. <laughs> so my, my best star sign is Aries. That, that's your opinion, but ask Bernice, that would, would she agree with you? In this video, you will learn about how... It's a lot of reading. <laughs> it's actually very simple, very easy. Teacher, I finished, but he asked me the group level or school subject. No, just put English. That's fine. English, English. All good. English, English. Yeah. That's good. Le group level is K E P. Yeah. Yes, Fidi, really, that's fine. It's irrelevant what you're gonna put there, so don't worry about that. I send. Okay. What? Why I get one only? How many points did you have? Why I get one only? Or. What do you mean, sweetie? Can you share your screen with me? Yeah, let's see. Oh, everything is wrong. You just have one point. I just changed the form. Okay, let's see. Try to sleep more hours or you, you will be tired, not are tired. or you will be tired, which means in the future. So basically you just needed to change the forms, but you've put everything in present, that's why. Now can you please scroll down? Let me see the second one. What's the sign of those who were born? Okay, let's see. Can you please scroll down? I wanna see the bottom ones. Still, still, still down, down. Okay, good. What's the worst star sign this week? Oh, uh, okay. You should have read all of them. 16th of February is Aquarius. It is Aquarius. Okay, that's a, I don't know why is that a mistake? Because it is Aquarius. What's the sign of those who were born? Okay, we said Aries. Uh huh. Okay, never mind about this, the fourth questions at the bottom, but these ones, let's say for areas, try to sleep more hours. Scroll up, sweetie, please. So, try to sleep more hours or you will be tired. If you don't work uh, harder, you now you have not passed you, so you should have put, you will not pass your I next will, test. Wanna put will. Yes. Oh, and I want love, to get done, you I want. will feel lucky. Okay, Ketu, this is about a future, okay? This is a reading about a future. So you, I even told you that in advance with cancer. You need to put will, because this is about the following week. That's why you got all incorrect you put them in present and they should be in future.
I didn't see this word all. You didn't see what? I didn't see this word. Ah, well, it's okay. If you want to do it again, do it again. You can stop sharing, sweetie. <laughs> Okay, but stop sharing because everyone will see the answers. Because <laughs> you will tell them the answers. Bernice, how about you? What did you do? How many points? Um, seven. Okay, that's good. Seven is fine. Esther, how about you? Uh, zero. Sorry, you're still doing it. No. No? So how many points did you have? Zero. Zero points? What do you mean zero? Everything was incorrect? I, I oh, use no. present tense to answer. Aha, uh -huh. you use present tense, but it should be with the future. Okay. T. Roy, how about you? Zero. Zero as well? Yes. Okay, that's tough, guys. All right, let's, let's do it again. I will show you an example how you need to do it. Let me just find where is that screen. Okay, here it is. All right, so look at the example. Try to sleep more hours or you... Now we have B, but we have to change it, or you will be tired. Second one, work. If you don't work harder, now the word we need to use is not pass, and then we have to change it. You won't. Did I put won't? Hold on. You won't pass your next test. I want to put will, will or won't. You feel lucky. Now, you're not going to put just feel lucky, but you will put you will feel lucky. So you have to put them in the future. Try to do it again, okay? So yeah, pay attention. Pay attention to the words underneath, right? So these ones. You have the words, but you have to put them in the correct form, like Bernice did. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> but why you didn't tell me? <laughs> well, I said that, sweetie. I mentioned before, but you didn't listen. That's okay. It happens. Not to worry at all. How is it going? Is it difficult? Get six. Now it's six, okay? It's better, better than before. Awesome. Esther, how about your score? I'm not Sorry, sweetie, I didn't get that. You're not done? Yes. Okay. See you, Rui, how about you? Not yet done. Not yet done. Okay. Fine. That's fine. You will have, we'll have a second worksheet. Uh, no, we're just going to wait everyone to finish. So we're going to do something else. Okay, but because Katya is finished and Bernice is also finished, maybe we can have a little bit of role play. Okay, Katya is here, Bernice is here. Let's do some role play, okay? So now we're going to give you a role that you're going to play, right? So we can do something like this. I'll just share it with you, okay?
Uh, so we have two students, all right? We got student A will be a teacher. Student B will be the student. So let's see what is the catch here. The student has no homework and is very bad at math. He needs to get a higher score to pass the exam. Okay, so he's very poor at math, but he needs to pass the exam. Student A is the teacher. The teacher tries to help the student asking him questions but the student doesn't want to cooperate so Bernice is going to be the teacher so the teacher tries to help the student she's asking him questions but you know, you're very bad at math. You need to study, you need to learn, you need to practice so you can uh, pass your exam. Student B will be Ket Yu and he will say, I just don't want to study anymore. I don't like math, okay? <laughs> or, any, or anything that you want to think of. But again, you need to get a higher score to pass the exam. So you're trying to avoid as much as you can. You just find reasons to say, no, I just don't like it. I'm not going to need it in the future. It's up to you. All right? Are you ready? Oh, why is me? Uh, because you are done with the test, with the task, and Bernice is done. So let's get started. Bernice, you are the teacher. You're meeting him in the school. How would you start? Um, hi, Ketchu. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Um, how's your homework? So bad, so many mistakes. You need to do more exercise. But I don't want to study anymore. Come on, keep asking him. But why? It's important. You have to study. Why don't you want to study? Studying is important. Come on. Be a bit like your mom, like your mom would say to you. Why oh, you didn't study? Study is important. Thank you. Why didn't you study? Because I'm lazy. Oh my goodness. I cannot be lazy. I, I try to over, overcome my laziness, but it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is your bad habits. You need to change it. So what should I do with it? You need to do more exercise mm -hmm. and focus what teachers say in the class. Okay. Good. Oh, I see. I will try it now. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, let's just ask Esther and uh, just for a second, guys. Esther and uh, T. Roy, are you ready, guys? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. How many? How many points? Six. Six. Okay. How about you, dear boy? Eight. How many? Eight. Eight. Did you say eight? Yes. That's not bad. All right, good. Okay. Um, we still have like twenty-five minutes, but we, do you do you want to have a break or no? That's a no. Okay. All right. In that case, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. In the next one, we're gonna practice the same one. Okay. So now we're gonna ask Esther to be the the, the student A or the teacher. So she wants to help the student. She needs to ask questions, but the student doesn't just want to cooperate. They just, you know, find excuses. And student B will be T. Roy. So, girls, let's see how you're gonna deal with this situation. Teacher, I have a question. Student yeah, go is ahead. Why, why student is a teacher? This is a role play. That, the okay, teacher. so student A means student one of you is a student. It's going to play the role of a teacher. That's why. Oh, it's a character in the role. <laughs> we could put role one and role two. That's fine. It's really not Where? a big deal. Well. All right, are the girls ready? Yes. Yeah, all right, let's start. Esther is a teacher, T. Roy is a student. You're meeting at school. Hello, teacher. Hello, student. What's next? Hello, T. Roy. How are you? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what yeah. comes next? Why you don't complete your homework? Because I'm very bad at math. Okay. And I don't know how to do it. Okay. All right, what are you gonna answer to that? <laughs> I, I can help you, you can. Uh, you can find me at school canteen during recess. Okay, good. Yeah, what's next? Thank you, Tisha. You are welcome. So that's it? You're done? That was easy. No, we should have made it harder, guys. Okay, let's just explain something. Obviously, these classes, like the first ones before we start the book, are very important, guys, for you to, to kind of, you know, get more open, okay? not to be shy because we're going to be here for a long time, like a whole year, right? So what is the catch of these classes? We want to encourage you to speak up more, to express your opinion. That's why we're doing these role plays and asking questions. So yeah, sometimes you don't know what to say. That's fine. But that's why we're here, the teachers, to help you. So you need to feel a bit more comfortable, right? You can ask questions. You can say whatever you want to say. So why do we practice this? When you're going to do the test, once you complete the book and stuff, you're gonna have a speaking test. And speaking is the most important part, just because 
when you meet someone, you speak with them. You don't text them. You don't stand next to the person and text them, right? We're speaking with them. You're talking to them. So the idea is for you to feel comfortable and to speak and speak and speak, right? But yeah, this was good, but it was very short though. We wanted to extend it. We wanted to make it difficult, okay? Let's give it another go. I'm going to give another mix. I'm going to change slightly the role. Okay, so for example, the teacher, not the teacher, but let's change the role. We're going to say student A is um, someone who is good at math, bad at science. He needs help. Oops, science. This student needs help, but he doesn't want to be helped. So he needs the help, but he doesn't want to be helped. Okay. Another one. <laughs> but student B, we're going to say student B. Someone who is good at science, but bad at math. This student wants to be helped. So this student wants to be helped and he's going to do anything anything at all just to be helped to learn the student a is trying to avoid so we're going to say that the students are meeting at the library so students are at the library okay oops what have i wrote here students all right good Let's choose, who wants to go first, actually? Who wants to go first? I want A. You want to be A, okay. Yes, A will be very easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Katya is A, and let's ask uh, Esther to be student B. Who wants to go first? Either way, you're meeting at the library. Hi, hi, how are you? What did you do? Blah, blah, blah. Try to make a small talk and then just say, oh, my mom wants me to study. I hate it so much. Just improvise, whatever comes naturally to you. All right, let's start. Who is a student B? Next is student B. Hello, Esther. How are you today? Hello, Katni. I'm great. Thank you. Is anything I can help you with? I'm bad at math, so I come to library. Oh, I see. I, I am going to like bully to, to improve my science because my son is, my science result is bad. So I study, study in the library. I'm good at science. I think we can help, help each other. But I'm but I'm so lazy. But my my mom my mom wants to study. I'm forced I'm forced to study. So unforgettable. Yeah, I'm tired. You should not be lazy. You you will fail at your science test. So how can I do? I think we can do 
division together. Hmm, sounds good. When when do we start? When do you start? We start at this weekend. Cool, that's awesome. Well, how old are you? Are you good at science? Yes, but I'm bad at math. Okay. I, are you have any science experiments? I, I will find it. Okay. Mm, I thought I thought yeah you are good at science because you do many science experiments so you know about science all. So. Okay. So what's the deal now? What's the deal, guys? What did you agree on? Yes, I also read many books. Oh, I see. But you are bad at math. I don't want to. I want to. Want me to lend you a hand? Yes, I need your help. Okay, good. Okay, we will we will meet at thus we will meet at next Monday five PM to start. I will help you to improve your math. Perfect. Good. And how are we ending this? Is this a deal? Okay, see you at Monday. See you all. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, perfect, good. Okay, let's change the part, the pair. Let's take uh, Bernice to be student A. T. Roy is going to be student B. Let's try this again. Hi, Bernice. Hi, Ro. How are you? I'm good. What do you come here for? Why did you come here, she asks. I want to study. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm come for study too. Um, okay. um, actually, I'm um, and science. Um, what's what book you find it at library? What did you ask her, sweetie? I didn't get the question. What did you ask? Um, what book you find at library for study? Okay, so what book do you use to study? Oh, good. I do my own not to study. Sweetie, I can't understand. What did you say? Get someone to make you a priority. See, Roy, sweetie, what did you say? I couldn't hear that. I use textbook. Okay, yeah? Come on guys, keep going, I'm waiting.
But I look bad at me. I didn't hear the question, guys. Can you please repeat again? Okay, so what we did previously, we saw Esther and Ketu, they did an amazing job, guys, but you two are kind of too shy, so that's not going to help you, okay? So let's keep going. Fun. So I know you're tired. We're almost done. Bernice and T. Roy, please open your microphones and let's keep talking. Yes, teacher. Yeah? T. Roy, where are you? Are you here? Yes. Okay. Can we continue with the conversation, please? Yes. Yeah? But I bet it meant fine. Good at science, so you can teach other. Okay. Um, yeah. We can help each other because um, I'm good at maths. That's great. So we find us here. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Um, I think we can find a time for study each other. How about every Monday, five o'clock? Okay. Um, okay. Um, see you next Monday. See you. Okay, good. Much better. Okay, guys, uh, this actually won't going to help us a lot. So if we really need to work on it, right? So technically these classes, we should have more speaking nothing else but you see i give you something else as well just to make you feel a bit more comfortable right so that that's kind of very important right so what's the catch the catch is not to be shy at all are you going to make a mistake yeah sure of course you are it's not a big deal that's why we're having these classes right if you're making mistakes to learn how to improve them but how will you improve them first you need to speak we need to see your mistakes if you don't speak, no mistakes. If no mistakes, why are you coming to an English class, right? Everything is in circle. <laughs> so, all right, that's good. That's good. I just, I'm just giving you uh, a bit more encourage to feel brave and speak and talk and all that stuff. Okay, usually how we're going to finish this class will be with making a story, okay? So I'm just going to remove this thing and we're going to make a short story all together. Just going to put it to the new slide, this one here. All right, I'm going to go back. So time to make a story. So I will put the first sentence and you get ready to put the next sentences. So for example. That sounds fun. I have that. Uh-huh. All right, let's check it out. So I will put the first sentence. This morning, I took a pen and a pencil. Get you, continue the story. What happened after that? So I took a pen and a pencil.
I use this stationery to complete my homework. Okay, so I usually use this to complete my homework. Okay, Bernice, next sentence is yours. Um, after I'm done my homework, I'm helping my mom for cooking dinner. Okay. After I did, not done. After I did my homework, I helped my mom to cook dinner or cooking dinner. Esther, next sentence is for you. We cook a lot of delicious food. Mm -hmm. Okay. We cooked, or we can also say prepared, a lot of delicious food. Okay. The next one is for T. Roy. After that, I I watch movie with my family. I watched movies. Did you say watched movies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. After that, I watched movies with my family. Okay. Now it's my turn. But I didn't really like the movie. So I decided to write a diary. Get you, continue. After I write a di my diary, I put it into my table. The second sentence should be used these, not this. Aha. Uh -huh. I usually use these. Okay, cool. Sorry, sweetie, can you repeat the sentence again? After I write my diary, I put it into my study table. Okay, so after, not write, but wrote. After I wrote in my diary, I put it on, did you say my table? Study table. On my study table, all right, good. Bernice, next one is yours. Um, I'm starting exercise. What, sweetie? After that, I'm starting exercise for Keeping a healthy body, healthy health. Uh huh. You did an exercise. Okay. After that, I did some exercises to keep my body healthy. Okay. I'm slightly changing them so we can make them all in past tense. Uh, Esther, the next one is for you. And then I go to bath because I'm sleepy. Uh -huh. Okay. Then I went to take a bath because I was sweaty. Okay. And let's finish it with T. Roy. How are we going to finish this? After that, I go to sleep. Okay. So instead of repeating ourselves after that, after that, after that, we're going to say, what? I did this. I went 
to sleep or went to bed. Either way, it's fine. Okay, good. Once I did this, I went to sleep or I went to bed. Good. So we're going to practice this every class from now, like the last 10 to 15 minutes. This is what we're going to do. But starting from next week, I will give you some words on the side so you can include them in the story. And we're going to decide each class to change the grammar tense. So let's say now we practice past simple. Next time we're going to practice maybe present continuous. Why are we doing this? Because this is also going to help you when you're going to speak with someone. So when they say something, you know what to say after that, right? So then you say something and then they follow you. So it's a good practice to kind of connect all the dots, like when you speak with someone, so everything can make sense instead of you saying one thing and your friend says something else and it's gonna be like a soup, like you're cooking soup, you put everything you have. <laughs> okay, good. Do you have guys any questions? No. No questions today. Okay, cool. So please, please, Please don't be shy anymore. Let's speak up more, okay? Yep. All right. Thank you so much for today. And I will see you next week, half an hour earlier, okay? Half past five, not six. Right? Okay. See you. Bye. Bye, Tita. Bye-bye. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you.